One of the biggest challenges that companies face today is keeping up with security around AI generated code. Developers are moving faster than ever and security teams are struggling to keep up with them. Also, if you look, developers actually outnumber security professional in any company, which makes it even more challenging. Now, JIT, which is a modern security platform for uh, accurately prioritizing and quickly remediating security risk, is tackling this challenge by introducing a new AI agent to assist AppSec teams. To deep dive into this announcement, today we have with us David Malamed, co-founder and CTO of JIT. David, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you very much. Great to be here as well. Quickly give us an overview of the company. We're JIT. Uh, we're uh, a DevSecOps company. We're basically uh, helping companies uh, uh, secure their, uh, their product in the cloud. And today you folks are making a new announcement. Talk a bit about what are you announcing today? So we're uh, super excited to, to announce like the, uh, the next uh, version of our product uh, that's around like an agentic platform. So what's an agentic platform? Basically, uh, we will build the um, uh, AppSec teams of the future. The AppSec team of the future for us is a combination of uh, human and uh, agents. And uh, basically, uh, we will supercharge the AppSec teams by providing uh, AI agents that will do all the busy work and let the AppSec teams focus on, uh, on remediation, on what really matters from the business. AI generated code is obviously boosting developer velocity, but it is also increasing security risks. Uh, can you talk about what kind of risk organizations are exposed to as they embrace more and more AI generated code? Sure, so basically since uh, we uh, talked about two years ago, a lot happened. Um, and what happened mostly in the software industry is that uh, Gen AI actually transformed the way software is developed. So if in the past uh, people started to uh, use ChatGPT to kind of have some snippets of code, um, recently, with uh, softwares like uh, Cursor or Copilot, developers are now generating a lot of code um, that is uh, fully generated by, uh, by Gen AI. Uh, so there's some uh, research right now that shows that almost like 70% uh, of all the code that is generated right now is done by Gen AI, and 30% of it is actually vulnerable to uh, security issues. And uh, if you think about it in terms of the amount of uh, code that is generated uh, is like mind blowing. So if uh, previously AppSec teams were uh, overwhelmed and uh, you know um, really under the water trying to catch up with engineering, now it's even worse because of the amount of code that is generated and the amount of um, uh, security issues that, are, that, that come with it. Um, a lot of uh, research show that by default, the code that is generated by Gen AI is not secure. You may actually end up with secure code if you do a cycle with, uh, with cursor or with any model to kind of uh, uh, pinpoint uh, you know, uh, some security issues, but like most of the developers are not doing that. So by default, you have more and more uh, product vulnerabilities and, uh, and that's really a concern for, uh, for any AppSec team. Now, you folks are announcing a new AI agent to assist AppSec teams. Can you talk about what does it mean for the wider organization? Because security is no longer an afterthought. It has become a board level discussion today. What we think is that those agents will really uh, transform the way uh, AppSec teams are working right now. So today they have a lot of busy work to do trying to uh, reach out to teams to get access to some data, trying to understand like if a vulnerability is really something that people need to, uh, to fix right now. Um, and that actually takes a lot of time. What uh, we have built are basically agents that are doing all the busy work so that the teams can really focus on what really matters for the business. Now, how we can get to that? But basically those agents have access to, uh, to a lot of data that is stored in what we have uh, built, which is like the company knowledge graph. This graph is something that we have built for the last uh, couple of years, and it includes a lot of uh, metadata about the company from engineering data 
like repositories to the cloud, uh, there's everything uh, you need in order to understand how the environment is working. And on top of that, we added security data that are, that are coming from scanners and we uh, supercharged that with business data. So basically those agents are uh, super smart because they know exactly uh, how your company is working. And based on that, they can assess really uh, the risk of your business and they can uh, make you focus on what really matters, which is uh, finally like remediation and how to improve your security posture. So that's how it works for the, uh, for the security teams. We believe that uh, we can get like most of the work done by those agents so that at the end, the only thing that um, the, uh, the, the human will do, the teams will do, uh, because we still need human, we're not trying to replace human. The only thing that those uh, the human will do is actually uh, still decide whether or not to fix something, like they will still be in control. That's, that's uh, what's important. The other thing is that we highly believe that those agents uh, will get better all the time uh, because they constantly learn and they constantly adapt and they are getting better at what they do. Like any worker in your company that you hire, uh, as soon as you get you, you provide some feedback, they're actually getting better. But the, the difference is that the agents never forget. So they always get better to what you do. And so uh, that's how we think uh, they, they, they will work for the, uh, for the AppSec team. But we also believe that they will be a great help for the developer team. And so at the end, we'll get more and more security by design because they can help developers actually understand better threat modeling. They can help developers understanding what measures they need to do in their code in the first place before it actually gets flagged by security scanners. So that's that's the, the team of the future. Team of the future will be really this combination of those agents doing all the busy work with all the knowledge of how the company is working and the agent and the human on the other hand that will only focus on what really matters. What are the key AI agents or workers within this uh, new AI agent and um how do they kind of fit into the workflow of security teams to manage vulnerabilities more efficiently? Now, efficiency can also mean time and it can also mean cost. So uh, that's a great question, how they actually uh, are embedded in the way uh, the teams are currently working. So there are multiple uh, integration points. First of all, we have our platform and this is basically how you can interact with them like any, uh, any chat GPT like uh, uh, interface will have like a, a chat interface to talk with uh, those agents, but they are actually uh, following you everywhere you work. So they will also be in Slack or any communication platform. They will also be available in your PR so developers can interact directly by uh, adding some comments, asking for additional questions regarding some fix or some vulnerability or how, what's the impact of some, uh, of some issue in the code. So basically, they're everywhere you are and they will adapt to the way you work. How do these new agents prioritize security risk? Because once again, when you are exposed, vulnerable, there are different levels of security, some critical, some not critical. And uh, how, how would you compare that to the traditional vulnerability management tools and solutions? That's an awesome question. Like, why do we need actually an agentic platform? So um, in the first place, I would say that right now, um, beyond developer that uh, leverage Gen AI, attackers are also using Gen AI to create more and more weapons to attack companies. So it's actually time that uh, we also provide those tools in the hands of the defenders. But what's the difference between an agentic workflow and a regular workflow, a traditional workflow? Well, traditional workflow, usually you need to actually define the workflow upfront and it's a very predefined uh, way of running. Agents are working differently. They actually are the master, like they're deciding on the next step based on um, the current input, based on what they learn, based on the tools they can run. So I'll give you an example. Um, let's say I have a vulnerability that I want to assess whether or not it's critical or not. If you're in traditional uh, vulnerability management, you have a, a series of steps that you need to, uh, uh, to go through in order to assess whether or not uh, it's reachable, it's exploitable, etc. 
but with a Gentic workflow, basically you can have like a, a flow that is uh, dynamic, meaning that the agent can assess first of all whether it's reachable and then based on whether or not it's reachable, it can actually complement this information by, for example, asking additional information from the team lead or going online to search for complementary information uh, to make sure it's actually, uh, it's actually uh, exploitable. It can also go and uh, run some tool to make sure that the port is really open. So it can really have an adaptive workflow based on the circumstances and based on the current input. So that's, that's a major difference and that's a revolution. Excellent. And of course, today we are talking about this AI agent. So we are still talking about something new, but what, what else is there in your pipeline? Because as we see the growing adoption of AI based solutions, and their impact on security. What are, just just give us a teaser. We're starting, and we just launched the uh, the AppSec engineer uh, AI agent that uh, has multiple skills, like doing risk assessment, like doing code review, um, and a couple of uh, other skills that he has. But in addition to that, um, basically, we will launch a few other agents uh, very soon um, around uh, cloud security, around uh, compliance. Um, but what we also want is actually uh, listen to the customer so that we can build actually your agent the way you want. So we're very open to any suggestions and any workflow and we want to help you build your use case in order to help you directly. And as you work on these solutions and you look at the market, do you feel that organizations are actually aware of the risks they face when they you know, bring a AI-based solutions into the organization, or, or you feel that, no, they are not aware, they are not even aware of the risk, and that is why we are building solutions, so we are ready, irrespective of whether they are ready or not. I actually think that organization right now are, uh, on one hand, trying to adopt very aggressively Gen AI because they all feel that there is something there, and that's transformative. Um, I think that the security folks are actually very anxious because they want to control um, especially around like data privacy, uh, what happens when using uh, those uh, those tools? Um, but I think that developers actually are really embracing uh, Gen AI without really understanding um, how to secure their code, and that's true, especially around like uh, junior developers that has like, that are still a lot to learn and uh, are not very well informed about the risk of, of just like using the, uh, the code that is generating uh, right away. David, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, talk thank about you very the much. Offering, uh, yeah, the new AI agent. Thank you so much for great insights and also the great overview of what organizations should do as they embrace more uh, you know, LLM-based solutions into their uh, infrastructure. They have some great insights and I would love to have you back on the show. Not after such a long gap, more frequently, but yeah, I'm looking forward to the next discussion with you. Thank you. Thank you.